this is session something. I've completely lost track of what session we're on, um, and I will probably never remember. Uh, I think it's been two weeks. Last session, I believe the majority of it was exploring the room, uh, the gallery and surrounding rooms that you are currently in. Um, the main gallery has a boiling cauldron that is spewing green mist into this entire area. There are three small doll-like creatures, one of which can talk, and the, they have warned you uh, that there are some entities known as the Sown Sisters and that you should leave before they come back. Uh, around the gallery there are five rooms, four of which I think you have been in. Uh, I'll come back to those in a second. To the south of this room is a giant green door covered in skeletons and it has five brass uh, covers on uh, geometric shapes that correspond to the tops of the metal covered skulls of the skeleton creature homunculi you have found throughout this tomb. Uh, the rooms thus far, I'm going to go in geometric order. Uh, the triangle room had a lever in it inside a glass cylinder. I believe you guys lassoed it and pulled it with a rope and that unlocked the triangle plate on the door to the south of the main room. Uh, I think you guys went into the square room uh, and ended up fighting some little dust devil things in it after pilfering some spell pages from a spell book that had been whipping around the room. Uh, the Pentagon Room has a banquet in it from which some of you have partaken and some of you have not. The Hexagon Room had six candles in it that you all lit and I think you pulled a lever. I don't know. Did you pull both of the levers or just one of the levers? Uh, we pulled both and then three creatures appeared in the room and the door and a door opened. Okay, cool. So I think we ended last session with those the fight with those creatures. Uh, yeah. And then there is the room with the octagon. Uh, I honestly don't remember what you guys did in there, um, but there is a lectern bolted well, we to looked the floor. At, yeah, we had the riddle, which we wrote down, and then there was the skeletons on the wall. We basically just looked at that. Yeah. Uh, also, during the fight with the werebores, um, Tlad seemed to be overcome by some power and turned on you and had to be put out of his uh, mortality uh, to resolve that, so Tlad is no longer with the party. Uh, I think Lacuna got hit by it, too. Lucanu got hit by it too, but shook it off. Um, and I think that brings us up to speed. Um, questions, comments, concerns? Yeah, will we explode if we drop below 55? Yes. Yes, you will. Man, I thought that one was funny. And, uh... Trying to figure out who who in this scenario is is who in this scenario is Keanu Reeves and who is Sandra Bullock. That's what I really want to know. It's is this the movie reference? It's a, it's a Murakana and Gale double feature. Oh, oh boy. yeah, baby. I don't know if Gale's shoulders are wide enough to be Sandra Bullock. <laughs> I say Matt this because losing the strength buff. She she herself has said that she's built like a linebacker, so I'm not not trying to disparage her. Um. Oh man. Cool. Okay, so I think we ended right at the end of combat. So you all are recovering around the corpses of a bunch of werebores. Um, uh, what would you like to do? We're probably going well, to have to cook Murakana. I think he's done for. Ah, uh, no. 
I can never die. Well, you say that, but um, <laughs> you have about 115 hit points, which is roughly what Slide had, and uh, he mysteriously lost almost all of it in one attack. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna <laughs> take like 10 minutes here. I'm just gonna start patching people up. That would be great. <laughs> Because I don't uh, have many spells left, and so we're about to find something that would be bad. Yep. Hold this up. All right. Um, do I want to tempt fate again and go for the DC thirty? Ah. Uh, I'll tell you what, because you have a perk that I think lets you ignore the um, cooldown, like once per hour, I believe. It's every ten minutes. No, I know that. Like how often you can use it. But when you treat, or anyone else treats wounds, it like makes them immune to any other attempts for like an hour. Oh yeah, for and an you hour, can ignore yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can ignore it once. Yeah, so, um... So I mean, we could both roll medicine on Americana, I believe. Fuck it, uh, I'll send that. Yeah. Uh, let me just grab my skills. Just checking if I have risky surgery on it. I don't think I do, but... Also, Sib, I'm angry uh, that you didn't rage post about the Armored Core D&D &D meme. <laughs> and armored Core feels more like Armoring's thing. I have been very big into Lancer recently. Armored Core fan. I, I do resent the fact I never got to play an Armored Core game. Anyway, uh, fingers crossed I can actually get a 10 or higher this time. Oops. Look at a fucking scream. <laughs> you got a one. <laughs> oh Feels my bad, dude. god. Oh, Let's see if I do any better with my fucking much worse roll. Oh, that's rough. I swear to god, Foundry hates Hey, I, I got the basic. <laughs> so I think the normal one is a DC 20. Yeah, um... God, I have it up here right now. No, like so the the is, base yeah. the base DC is fifteen. You oh, can yeah, increase it before you roll. If you're an expert, you can increase it to twenty. Oh, yeah, if no, you're a master, not. you can. So whatever. Yeah. So it's fifteen, twenty, thirty. I'm just on train. Um, so. <laughs> at some <laughs> point, uh, also forty. If you're legendary, uh, if you want to try increasing it to four or sorry, two D eight plus fifty. Ah, uh, but see, Daji is a classical religious person and actually has no real training in terms of medicine. This is uh, Ayurvedic healing, if you will. <laughs> She's just guessing. I'm trying improvisation is coming in clutch here. <laughs> Daji's walking around with a little bag full of shit from Gwyneth Paltrow. Yep. Oh my god. The uh, dude store. <laughs> I've, I've seen that. <laughs> just hitting someone with the fucking stick of opal. Realign your chakras, bitch. Exactly. And we'll just cover you in stickers to, like, you know, increase the positive vibes to make your greens close. Well, see, if you use the jade egg and the quartz while lying on our uh, marble countertop, that counts for all the chakras. Oh, sick. Or, like, you know, a couple of easy payments of, like, $10,000. Well. Sweet. Um, so I guess, Americana, what's the untrained roll? Because I'm pretty sure I passed that. Uh, 15 is the basic. No, I mean, like, how much does that heal? I'm just trying to see. Uh, 2d8? Uh, yeah. There you go, your, Americana, your goop treatment got you 7 hit points. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... Never mind. Uh, okay, so they spend ten Probably minutes. <laughs> they spend ten minutes patching Murakana up. Uh, Shijin, you're up by the stairs. Do you want to do anything while they do this, or are you chilling out? Um, no, I'm uh, looking through Finn's eyes right now as they attempt to heal each other. This uh, Benny Hill comedy of treatment over here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is what I need to do. Carousel around each other. Ba -ba 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 I'm good. I'm good back here. <laughs> oh my god. I need to load the I'm Benny Hill the song the into room. this shit. <laughs> Whoa. Positive yeah. attunement. Uh, he has 1d8, but every minute, for a minute, if I maintain it. Every okay. round, it heals. So I figure 
there's ten rounds of that because a round is six seconds, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You have that on both characters in both games, don't you? You have, like, the one I have, long heal beacon. It, yeah, well, it's vaguely similar. I think it's called something else with the other cleric. Well, technically, this one isn't a cleric, but, you know. So, can I ditch my dying one and wounded one? Uh, you I can think you do from first aid, don't you? Uh, this is the first aid of Yeah, it gets rid of them. Sweet. Although, next time Barry's here, he'll probably tell me how I'm wrong. But that's fine. <laughs> it's always I mean, I don't know how it works. I like having... I don't know. So, I think I think what? I like having a rules advocate and a rules lawyer in the group. Works out well. Because <laughs> um, it means... You're not wrong. Yeah. It means when I try to bend the rules, someone can call me out on it. Well, because I consider you the rules lawyer. And in our other group, I consider Sebastian the rules advocate. And I think I think in this group, Barry's going to become the rules advocate. But I like having it because um, it stops me from just like accidentally being really dumb as a DM. So, uh, saying yes to everything. I don't say yes to everything, um, yeah. but I am very. Well, the... Go ahead. No, no, no. I was just saying, not like everything, but you know. A lot. I'm very quick to rule in favor of making shit happen. Um, most of the time, unless I have a reason not to. Anyway. Uh, but Pathfinder's whole system works better. I find myself grasping for random rules less in Pathfinder. Uh, okay, so Mercana, you are looking much better after Gale and Dodgy take uh, the better part of half an hour to figure out how to heal. <laughs> and then uh, Dodgy just gets angry and casts a spell instead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, this mundane shit isn't working out very good. Uh, Lacuna notes that... Uh, Gail just drops like 15 vials of medical stuff by accident. <laughs> <laughs> you know well, I hope none of you guys got tetanus. PPE is not a term in Gail's vocabulary. Uh, Lucanu, as you guys are doing all this, uh, she notes that during the last fight, something took her over her mind uh, for a while. And as she explains this, Keshma haughtily, but also notes that something tried to, to penetrate her mental defenses, but they are like stone. Hmm. Well, that's curious. Oh, um, could I have been refocusing while I was healing i suppose nope fair enough i'm not a good cleric <laughs> or fair. A good character at all. i just said no see if you're yeah, if you're no, doing no. another <laughs> action you can't refocus and i think we should probably figure out because it looks like you have to actually do it seems like my own team thing well it, and it actually refocus and it seems like there needs to be an opportunity or you need to like come up with how whatever's at hand is relevant I, after rereading the folk refocusing stuff, my take on it is that like, it's not supposed to be just whenever you want. It's supposed to be like you have to be able to justifiably come up with it. I don't want to play it too hard, but I think it's worth thinking about anyway. Um, yeah, but that's the thing. I don't think any of us could figure out what a, a cosmos oracle would be doing to like. Like I said, you just need to get stoned and think about how small you are. That's fairly easy to do. Just yeah, okay. Daji just pulls That's out. It. I got some weed in the tools back and... room. I'll go smoke it right now. No, no, we'll we've, we've got this. Her healer's tools, which <laughs> she has for some inexplicable reason, has herbs. I'm sure we could get creative with uh, Gail's help. Gail, you know how to make drugs, right? Uh, the I'm... agency can neither confirm nor deny rumors at this time. <laughs> I'm reasonably certain you know how to. <laughs> There we go. Dodge is just getting baked in the corner. Oh. Uh, so while he's baking up, uh, what rooms do we have left again? Um, so at this point, on, on the door to the south, the hexagram, hexagon, the hexagon and the triangle are open. So let me get out my handy dandy drawing tool oh, and boy. X out 
rooms that have actually been y'all, solved. Y'all remember the uh, poem thing we had to solve? I can pull up the words in the book in that room. And I'll post them. Whoop. Did you do it? Okay. You did it. I remembered. You did it first. So those are the words written on the eight pages of that book. Yeah, which isn't <laughs> which isn't helping me. <laughs> Uh, and we already went in the Pentagon room and some people ate food. I don't know if they want like everyone to eat food, but it didn't seem to, it did, it seemed like a bad thing when people were eating food. Uh, and then in the square room, we already, I thought we already killed everything in there, didn't we? Uh, so people ate things in the Pentagon room and killed things in the square room. Those actions have not released the brass panels on the door to mm. the south. In the square room, was there still, there was like a lever on the wall or something? There was a, yes. Did we pull it? I forget. I don't know if anybody pulled uh, it. Because I thought, I figured we did, I mean. I'm just going to go ahead and say, if you tried to pull it, it was insubstantial. You were unable to grasp it. Oh yeah, it was uh it was like a illusion magic or something. Uh, well, guy. Um, I'm thinking. My my character is thinking. What would my character know to do next? If if you want to roll against any of your character's skills to try and see if you can figure anything out about any rooms or do perception or investigation let me checks, see. those yeah, are let me all see. valid actions. I would like to study the magic, like the arcana or occultism of the room in the top right, the square. Let's see. That would be like an arcana roll? Uh, I mean, you can roll whichever skill check you think is most relevant. Um, mm, yeah, I feel like to uh, so the lever that is... Go ahead. I was going to say, the, the, the pages that had been fluttering in that room were all arcane spells. Okay, so definitely arcana then. Check or whatever. I think I just click it, right? Should do. Hey. Oh. Not um, so good. So... Not the best draw. With a one, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that, that would be a, a critical failure. Um, uh, so you know that all the spell pages flittering around, um, yeah, I don't know the one what I can say that doesn't necessarily that, yeah, give it fun. away. Like, that's just a critical failure. Like... You're pretty yeah, sure that, uh, in fact, Arcane has nothing to do with this bullshit. <laughs> um, uh, guys, I'm pretty sure that room is not Arcane in nature. Thought you just blows a smoke ring in your direction. <laughs> Which is pretty impressive, given how far away they are from each other. But yeah. We got it, you faith. <laughs> it's me right in the face. <laughs> yeah. Josh, you would absolutely be the kind of person to pull vape tricks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just basically like... insubstantial at this point, anyway. Don't waste it, breathe it in. I mean, do you... I have a lot of healers tools, my dude. Like, that's... I've got quite a bit of herbs. I know, but you still don't waste it. 
I, I don't waste it. I'll just go steal some more. I mean, requisition some. And I just spit beer all over my lap. <laughs> Thank Good you job, for making beer. me laugh mid-drink. Well, alcohol. Let's put it that way. Nice. Are you drinking a hard seltzer? I am. God. Oh my! Is, is, Damn it! Is it a black cherry white claw? No, 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 no. But there are no laws when you're drinking claws. True. <laughs> no. As of I this, I, have... I just have to say at this moment, Sib is. Uh, no, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. Fuck you. Well, we you all want... know where you were going with that one. <laughs> Do you want me to go grab the fucking whiskey out of the cabinet? Yeah, go drink like a goddamn man. Jesus Christ. God damn it. White Claw. I will be right. You may be in trouble because I think vodka is all I got left. Good. Stop I've had a glass. Yeah. I don't I'll know. Be right back. Real women drink actual <laughs> beverages too. Give your balls or your ovaries a tug. Jesus Christ. Oh. Fucking white I, Claw. I couldn't move my character because it's paused, but uh, that oh. is would have been up by the thing. It's a, no, Try no, again. It's Try again. There you go. Yeah, he moved now. It's okay. Uh, he didn't... I didn't find anything else, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I'm not, not going to countenance fucking Napoleon Macklemore over there drinking White Claw. <laughs> would Would y'all like to uh, research these other rooms or ask? Maybe maybe Nithla knows what's going on in here. Nithla, what's up? Oh, let's see what she can do. Skills. Oh, pardon me. Just hiccup to myself. Let's see what Nithla gets. Ah, uh, pretty goddamn hey, good. Hey, that's better. That's pretty good. Uh, so just uh, so you know, uh, Nithla. Um, what's the best way to describe Nithla? Uh, monosyllabic, uh, attractive, but also there's something wrong with her. Um, just like on a deep fundamental level, you don't want to maintain eye contact with Nithlo, unless you're Murakana. Um, <clears throat> but then again, Murakana tries to maintain eye contact with any female. Um, so Nithla wanders around the room and notes... I think the spells were perhaps a red herring, but the pages were squares, the symbol on the door is a square, this ethereal switch is a square. I think the solution probably has something to do with squares. I don't know what it is, but I think that is where we need to go with this. That was the most eloquent mm. thing Nithla has ever said, by the way. Um, we only got we only got three total squares from that room. I'm thinking out loud to Nithla. Oh, for what it's worth, uh, Dodgy or Lyokin, I think at this point knows the solution to four of the five rooms. So that may be yeah, why Lyokin is trying not to meta game because he plays in the five E group that uh, I guess, I guess. solved all of these rooms on Thursday. So sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, I don't know. What I'm all right, I'm out of whiskey, so I'm back with a uh, triple <laughs> fucking screwdriver. Wow. Well, I just so killed my just arm. Just, just call it a mimosa. I just, I, I have to say this, because I love you, but I just had about four fingers of vodka straight, so just catch the fuck up, man. Come on. Well, you know what? Find me the skull of a man named Phillips, and I will catch up. Arm, you're drinking a flat mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, why do you have to say that shit when I'm mid-drink? Every time. Okay. Like, do I need to break out the Brennivan here? Well, I think you just hurt me a little bit, so... Do I de Oh, man. Okay. Uh, so Nithla thinks that squares have something to do with the solution to the Room of Pages. 
Uh, let's see here. Evlona is in the lectern room. Um, also, and it's worth noting for Pathfinder, there are no passive skills. Who? Somebody is selecting Keshma. Stop it. Stop it. God damn it. Arm, unselect Keshma. Click in space and then click Murakana. Got it. Great. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, what I was going to say before I yelled at you is there is no passive perception in 2E. So if you want to percept a room, you have to percept a room. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, Sir Murakana, you entered the room with Evlona as she is staring at things in here. What are you doing? I am looking at the squares in the room on the ground. Also, holy shit, I'm not moving my tile at all, and it just keeps jumping around. So. Oh, wait, okay. I didn't know there was a mirror on the ground. What the fuck? What? I'm literally not moving my, my character at all. He's just bouncing around the room. I don't see him. I've moving. been having a lot of latency issues with Gale. Okay. I, yeah. Well, look. Yep, it's, it's taking about three minutes for me to move now. As soon as we finish the tomb, we're going to forge. So we should not have that problem. Um, I can't do anything right now. Besides, swear at Comcast and move on with life. Uh, if you're listening, Comcast, fuck you. Xfinity is just the same thing as Comcast, and fuck you. Uh, carrying on. Um, <laughs> okay, so you're in the room. You're looking at it. Uh, does that mean you want to do a perception check on the room? I would love to do a perception check. Then you should do so. We'll get you playing yet. Well, I can't... Uh... Just a second. I'm having trouble with mine. Do you want me to roll you a perception check since your internet's being shitty? Yeah, roll me a perception check. Okay, that I can do as soon as I find... Since this thing has told me to fuck off. I mean, we had snow in Maryland, so all bets are off for uh, anything ever anything working. Anything working. Okay, perception is here. Roll it. Damn. This is what happens when I roll a goddamn check for somebody. Uh, so things you notice oh, yeah. in this room. Um, a couple of things stand out. Uh, the floor all along the wall appears to be seamed. As if the floor can either was relayed recently or could break open revealing something beneath. Uh, the lectern itself uh, has a compartment on the side of it that looks like it can probably be opened pretty easily um, the skeletons in the wall all look like they are blowing or are being blown or are floating um, yeah I think that's what you get I'm going to open up the side of the lectern. Uh, as you open the compartment. Uh, I don't oh, care. I, I. Oh, okay. So you want to open the side of the compartment? Yeah. Uh, it appears to be... I don't care. Nope. You open it. Uh, inside the compartment... There is a brass lever. Well, Evelona, shall we play? Uh, Evelona. Armory gets smacked. Stares at you and slowly, without breaking eye contact, walks out of the room and then says, <laughs> Go ahead. You have so much confidence. I'm going to tie a rope around the lever, then walk out of the room. 
Okay, I can't move my character. Um, I don't know if that's even physically going to work. Well, if I take a spear and jab it into the ground and then put the rope around it. I'm just going to say no. You cannot jury rig this thing to be pulled from outside the room. Fuck it. Pull the, I pull the lever. Uh, you hear a slight click. And then I'm going to run out of the room. Uh, if I could move. Nothing else appears to happen. Has it been ten minutes yet? Ten minutes since what? Uh, since I refocused or started to refocus. Oh, yeah, sure, you're done getting stoned. Sweet. I offer Lucano the rest of the blunt and then um, wander off towards the uh, <laughs> group. Lucano shrugs and takes a drag. She's... <laughs> She's a warrior, but but she also knows how to relax. It's it's the first non-stoic action you've seen uh, from Lucanu, but you know. Yeah, times like these, you know. When you're in a dungeon fighting God knows what, knowing that you probably have to fight even worse things later, maybe half a blunt's not so bad. <laughs> uh, Actually, dodgy. I'm pretty good right now. I was actually just thinking, I haven't been stoned in so long. Um, I know, right? I have no idea how to roleplay it. <laughs> uh, so here's, here's how to roleplay being stoned. Go off on digressions of digressions of digressions. And you're good. So basically... Sweet. Yeah, basically. Play like I talk after we finish the session, and you're golden. Um, awesome. You do notice... Uh, the octagon brass plate is open now on the door right next to you. So we only got two left then, judging by the little pictures that you got next to where Daji is. Yeah, I, I unhid part of the map so I can tally this in multiple places just to try and make everything as obvious as possible from a record keeping standpoint. Yeah. Cool, so we need square room and mm -hmm. the uh, square room and the room with the food hey maybe in the room with the food you have to take one of each because I don't think we've taken one of each yet but Luckily, we're gonna I, be close by now. There's been like ten people in there. Uh, I think only uh, so. Daju, Murakana, and Gail went in there. Shijin and Barry did not. Yeah, I didn't, but I think some of the NPCs did, right? Um, I did. Daju convinced Plaid to eat from the ball before she also partook. Oh, she fine. wanted to check if it was poisoned. <laughs> I think Nithla went in there, since you mentioned it, and I'm just going to say Nithla ate some boar. Uh, okay, Dodge, you are walking up to the room of squares. Uh -huh. I think we already... Did the papers have stopped flying, have stopped mm -hmm. flying around, haven't they? Uh, you guys grabbed scrolls, and I know we rolled for them because my way of rolling in the Thursday group was based on how I did it for the Saturday group. So I didn't record what you guys got, but I know you guys did it. Yeah. We got a scroll of fly, mariner's curse, and shadow walk. There you oh, go. Nice. Dodgy has the shadow walk. Can you Which, funnily enough, is I can automatically cast that as a focus spell. <laughs> I was going to say, is that on your... It brings up the interesting question, what is your spell casting tradition? Uh, she... Charisma, I guess? No, oh, your wait, tr there. tradition. No, there's, tradition. There's four... Uh, is, it a, is it a cult? That's the thing, because, like, Oracle 
uh, spell pulls from a cult and divine usually. Um, I think it's divine. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Okay, you probably had to pick one or it's based on your curse. So basically, divine spells would fall under stuff that you could understand. Other spells would require a check or something. No, no, that's what I meant. Like, the, I, oracles can pull from the divine, say, but they also have spells from an occult spell list, like what a witch could normally only cast. Yeah. I'm just... This class is divine. So yeah, fair enough. You're a, you're a, uh, I'm gonna go with occult until I go look at the rule book later because I should probably look that up. Yeah. Okay. And besides, I don't think it'll be relevant next game anyway because uh, <laughs> she would be entirely hard. Oh, of course. She's a magus as well. Ah, uh, well, I'll figure that out before next campaign. Anyway, okay. um, okay. carry on. Uh. Hmm. To Nithla, what do you think about uh, this particular puzzle? Actually, would Daji know, like, as a, from a character point? Could she roll her, uh, actually, I guess, her newfound intelligence? I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, you could, you could, perception, investigation, any of the magical traditions are all possible things you could choose to try and roll to figure this room out in character yeah uh well give perception a shot because i think that's the least shit one i've got Oof. that's a five 25 that is <sighs> let me check my level appropriate dcs Uh, so that would actually count as a failure um, for a level appropriate DC for this room. Um, to be fair, that was a five. Yeah. yeah. Basically, what I do is in the conversion, I just pick the level appropriate DC to figure a room out as opposed to what 5th edition says because, you know. Um, so you don't have a terribly great idea beyond what Nithla had said about squares. Like, based on the other rooms, like, based on the hexagon room, the six candles were a huge part of the solution. Um, I think that's the only room you guys have actually solved via... Yeah. Um, like, Nithla had noted earlier that there's something about squares in this room or rectangles that would be uh, useful, but beyond that, you aren't able to really come up with too much else. I draw a square around the lever. <laughs> you chalk. <laughs> God damn you. Um, fair enough. <laughs> you said squares. <laughs> uh, yes, I've said squares so many times. Uh, as you finish drawing this chalk square on the wall around the lever it goes from a kind of spectral greenish appearance to a it shifts into a solid bone lever jutting out of the wall oh my god i'm a genius <laughs> pull it uh i um look at the entryway and is that dim light like this corridor here uh, so this room would be dark. Yeah. Uh, the the main room is lit. Uh, let's see here, just for reference. Uh, I don't care. Yeah, sure. They all have dim light. Fair enough. I I say this because I'm readying the uh, my shadow step ability, so that if anything bad happens, I'll just teleport out of there. If that's possible. Um. Let's say no. It's all dim light. Damn it. Wait. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, if it is dim light, then she can't cast it. How does shadow step work? Is it dim or shadow? Sure. It's so dim. You know. Dim light. It's dim light? Yeah, okay, if yes, I'm in dim fine. or dark light, then yeah. Well, yeah, fine. It's all dim light. Yeah. 
recently reread it and found out that I have to. I also have to be standing in dark light. Like I can't be in a bright room and jump to a shadow. You, you got to go from yeah, shadow to shadow. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. So uh, a little bit of uh, Vampire the Masquerade tenebration magic here. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> Gonna jump. From um, oh, yeah. I want to run a World of Darkness game someday. Okay. Clunk. Okay. Yep. As you pull the lever, there is a click sound. And I guess Murakana and Lukanu notice that the square panel on the door to the south uh, opens up, revealing a slight recess that could fit one of those keys. Ooh. Fun! I'd like to give a shout out for Dachi for figuring out how, how to give the wall a bone. <laughs> I've been holding on to that one for five minutes. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, of course you'd hold on to it. She pats you on the head. <laughs> Listen here. I, I have so many comments, but I'm not going to say any of them. I am a mighty warrior. Don't pat me. But it was kind of nice. <laughs> I mean, she is, she is taller than you, I think, by quite a bit. Well, she is floating, so I mean, in that oh, respect, yeah, well, <laughs> she's yeah. not touching the ground. Her shoes have lifts in them. Yep. She has high. She, she has highly impractical, in, impractical uh, stiletto heel armor. Actually, she. Yeah, I think in a concept for her art, she doesn't have any shoes on on account of having hoops, so she kind of can't have shoes. Well, yeah, mm, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> she can have horseshoes. There you go. Something, something, tieflings. Exactly. I say tieflings because I think tiefling sounds better than tiefling, and I don't care that it's wrong. I mean, I don't really care which way it's said. <laughs> I understand it, therefore that'll work. Also, my name has an I-E in it, and it's pronounced with the I sound, so take that. Yeah. Deutschland über alles. Wait a minute. No. Edit that out. <laughs> uh, what have you done? What have I done? Well, this one, I have no idea. But I will try the same process again. Uh, Jesus Christ, even worse. <laughs> That's a two. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to read the description of the room again. <laughs> um, just to remind everybody. Uh, so it's a banquet room. It is full of... There are five red tapestries on the wall. Uh, there are four types of food laid out on the tables in this room those being roast boar, squash stew a tray of iced cakes and flagons of frothy beer the uh, dude who was in wasn't there a person in here before? like as a servant or something like that? Uh, yeah I think I somehow deleted them I just thought maybe they left or something. No, I think during the last combat I selected everyone and accidentally deleted people. So there is... Uh, the token's wrong. It shows a scarecrow, but it's just a dude that looks like a butler. So what was the uh, pattern to this room? It was a pentagon, right? Yes. This is the pentagon room. I scribble a pentagon on the floor. Uh, nothing happens, and the butler just shrugs at you. I scribble a pentagon on his clothes. What you try to? Uh, you do this. the The butler gives <laughs> a, a mildly disgusted uh, expression as you do so, and as you finish, then starts trying to pat the chalk off of 
his. Oh, I'll have you know, I work really hard on that. And he looks at you somewhat forlornly and just shakes his head no slowly. <laughs> oh. Uh, I look underneath the bear rug. Is there anything underneath it? Uh, the bear rug doesn't matter. Oh. Slight aside. Hi, Tor. The bear rug looks cool, but it's a red herring. No, it's not. I put it in my bag of holding. There's no bear <laughs> rug in here. There is no yeah. bear rug in this room. <laughs> oh. Again... <laughs> the, ar the art's really nice, but the bear rug doesn't actually exist. It's illusory. You try to pick it up and realize it's just not real. Damn it. Uh. You also somehow know that the bear rug has nothing to do with the way this room works, vis a vis the metagame puzzle that is in this room. How about the cutlery? Is that like silver or gold? Or like valuable? Uh. No. Damn it. So, Maracana, you're walking in the room. What are you doing? I don't know, because I can't see what my character's doing. He's just kind of like jetting around where I tried to move him. I'm going to pull up Resmon real quick and just see what the hell is going on. Yeah, the, the latency, latency issue is insane. It's like 30 seconds for me to move. Oh, cool. Hey, oh I, I see everybody's IP addresses again. This is fun. Slurry just a Twitter meme. Who, who has Spectrum as their internet provider? Uh, I think I do. Hey, I know, I know your IP address. That sounds creepy, but it's well, actually just a built-in yeah, Windows feature. I, I, I have Spectrum. I have Spectrum. Thankfully, I'm at my Florida. friend's house, so you actually know my friend's IP address, not mine. Oh, my so if I do a SWAT on 97.100... Oh, who has Windstream? That's me. Hey. So I found out last session, if I pull up Resmon in Windows, I can see the exact uh, IP addresses I'm uploading to. Two two three twenty four. Uh, that one I don't get. Oh, maybe you're colon colon one. Maybe they were smart enough to actually mask you. Maybe. Because let's see. Uh, for Windstream, I have h six dot one five four dot two two dot ninety eight static IP. Do you do you have a static IP? Oh no, I'm I'm on Spectrum. No, I'm talking so Arm, you're Windstream, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have your static IP address right here. Uh you already have my address, buddy. Oh, I know where you live. That's This yeah. is why I'm opening Resmon not on the recording stream. <laughs> yeah, please don't do that. Oh no, no. Sorry, I don't need to get swatted. Before last session started, I realized I get to see everybody's fucking IP address. Um, it's kind of crazy. I love Windows. Hold on. Like, accidentally. I'm just going to go drop this in the team. What just happened? Peter Benjamin Parker, Queens, New York City, New York, IP 96.24.212.243. Oh my god. Well, that's they could fun. at least pretend to get a, an actual SSN, but. Oh yeah, that social security number is bullshit. Sorry, my job is like fraud investigations probably everybody but Shijin knows this so like this sort of shit is the thing that I love seeing by accident like oh I have ooh satx.res.rr.com okay anyway uh, I'm gonna stop saying internet connections out loud <laughs> so oh boy so much fun
Yeah, you're gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> oh, mel.intervolve.com.au. I'm guessing that's Australia. Melbourne. Yeah, probably. Yeah, if you ever want to, uh, I guess for everybody here who isn't Shijin, uh, you can, I don't know, does 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 Mac OS give you a Resmon equivalent? I don't even know what that means, so. Uh, so, uh, uh, Resource Monitor in Windows lets you see your CPU disk network and memory, and the network actually shows yeah, you. Yeah, there's an activity monitor. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, and I can go to network, and let's see, it's got a load. <laughs> complete, mm. complete fucking sidebar to the whole game. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to like do it or use it or whatever, but. Here's what I'll do. I'll uh, I'll do this real quick. If I go to screen and I show Resmon go live, there. It's not actually on the stream, but I'm I am now streaming what Resource Monitor gives me. And if you look at the network section, that's where I can see like every fucking thing that's happening and all the Foundry VTT EXEs. It shows me everybody that's connected to my computer. So it's just kind of fun. Anyway. Okie dokie. Back to what we're doing. Back to playing so the game. Have one, we only have one room left to finish. Correct. Alright, now... All of a sudden, I can move around. I don't know what happened. See, we just had to talk about the internet for a while, and then the internet worked. It, it got self-conscious, apparently. Yeah. Anyways. So what happens if I pick up a plate of food and walk out of the room with it? Nothing happens. The food just goes with me? Yep. I think you ate oh. cakes last session. Yeah, I had the honey buns or whatever they were. The iced cakes. They're fucking honey buns, just say it. I don't care where you're at. I Actually, mean, I guess there's cinnamon rolls looking at them. Honey buns are a very specific type of pastry, my man. No, no, those are most definitely cinnamon rolls now that I'm looking at Honey closer. buns are like the RC Cola of sweet pastries, because even by standards of sweet pastries, holy shit, it's basically just sugar. Oh, yeah, no. It's a crack attack in a roll. I mean, it's carbohydrates topped with carbohydrates. That life doesn't get any better than that. Alright, so Mr. Threadneedle, I feel like he's part of the room. Well, he's in the room. But I feel like he's part of the room. Okay. I'm glad you feel and that the way. Fact, the fact that he has a mouth and can't use it really bugs me. Is his mouth threaded closed? No. So he's just choosing not to be a, not to talk. I mean, choosing or compelled or unable... You, you can draw the conclusion you want to draw, but he has not spoken. Can I spoken. try and open his mouth? Uh, you walk up to him and reach out for his mouth, and he gently just slaps your hand away and looks at you with a expression that is just, like, you boorish fuck. Why are you trying to touch my face? You need to talk! And he just kind of looks at you deadpan and just shakes his head. So you can't talk or you won't talk. And he holds up uh, his hand no. and, <laughs> and gives you a symbol for uh, two. He holds up two fingers and then shrugs. So won't talk. 
<sighs> but killing him will get us nowhere, so. Alright, guys, I need more brain power. Um, I'm gonna do perception. I need more sure. brain power. Didn't you get like a brain powder? Yep. I got a massive one, actually. That's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, we both did. <laughs> Going up to 17 intelligence. It's fucking insane. You said he, uh, you held up at, or he held up at two, right? He held up two fingers and then just kind of shrugged, and like. There is two of us that didn't eat yet, right? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> like there, there is no Are answer. There, there is me, and there is who else is an E in the room? Uh you and Barry. Yeah. And I guess Barry's just like in orc meditation. True. I'm making that up because Barry's not here. Uh, yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. Um. Was there any food that hasn't been eaten yet, guys? Who are looking around the room? In the room? Uh, Dodgy ate boar. Murakana. Oh, now I'm back not being able to roll. Um, oh, Murakana and Gail ate icy cakes, and Nithla had boar. Um, Murakana, you were doing. Did do you want me to roll something for you? Yeah, would you roll for me? Thank uh, you. Was that perception that you wanted? Yeah, roll perception. Looking for anything out of place in the room. Uh, 30. Yep. Um. Oh my god, I can't even, I didn't even see that roll yet. I'm still not seeing it. I'm going to restart. Okay. Uh, I'll describe what happens while you restart or what you notice. Um, as you survey the room, uh, uh, you notice that the five tapestries on the wall, um, as you stare at them more, uh, there's a subliminal devil's face cleverly hidden in each of the tapestries and the devil's mouth opens to form a pentagon awesome well to draw a pentagon somewhere I wonder I did that yeah that Not in this didn't room. seem to work I guess the puzzle is in the room I feel like the puzzle is just like everyone eats something from their room so what if we uh, what if we take all the food and arrange it in a pentagon on the floor Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, if, uh, assuming that doesn't work, uh, we have what food left that hasn't been eaten? Or that hasn't been tried? I know that we had the uh, beef, the stew, uh, definitely the cakes got eaten. I think the beer got eaten. Um,. I guess I'll take, I'll go in there and take one thing that hasn't been eaten, and I'll take the other over to Barry. So, I think there was two things left. Yeah, stew and beer. Uh, okay, I'll do the beer, and I'll give the stew to Barry. And I assume, since he's not here, he'll have some. Yeah, we'll go with that. Well, um, he's meditating. Yeah, sure. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Sorry. I was almost sneezing. Oh, I thought you just shit your pants or something. No. Uh, I'm trying to record information on my end about 
Duh. Uh, you guys do so. Nothing uh, appears to happen. I would have only happen. done so after they brought it out to me, but yes. Okay. Nothing. It did still not change? Nothing has changed. Oh, fuck. Now we're all poisoned. Yeah, now we're, oh. now we're all poisoned. I'm good. Mm. All right. Does the scary does Mr. Threadneedle do change his tune now that everyone? Wait, 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 wait! There's a pentagon in his mouth. What if we draw a pentagon in him. Mr. Threadneedle's mouth? Feed him. I'm uh, gonna offer him some food. Uh, he eats some food and just kind of seems fine with that. Oh, Did damn. you you fed him you fed him like one of everything, right? I'm gonna offer him a little bit of everything. He eats a little bit of everything. Oh crap. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> I thought I was so onto something. Um Oh god. We've eaten one of everything, we've fed the dude in there. Everything. Um, I don't know. So you've, you've screwed around with the food a bunch, uh, Murakana. Your perception was the the pentagram mouth was in the tapestries. Hmm. All right, so it's got to have something to do with the tapestries, then. Does anything happen when I touch the tapestries? Uh, as you feel around one of the tapestries, most of it seems to be normal fabric. As your hand passes over where the pentagon mouth is, it feels like you can push your hand through as if the tapestry itself is... An Son of a bitch! I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip the uh, tapestry away. Ah, uh, there is a bare wall behind it. All which, right, I'm gonna put the tapestry back in place and push my hand through the tapestry. Uh, I'm gonna say you push your hand through a different tapestry, uh, because you tore it off the wall. Um, so that one's gone. Uh, as you push your hand through the whole. The illusory hole in the tapestry, there is a lever behind it. I grip the lever. The lever uh, I give it a rip. Uh, you hear a clicking sound as you pull the lever. All right. Shit, uh, that should work. Aha! Ah! Alright, y'all ready? As ready as we'll ever be. Just. Waiting for Foundry to actually register my move. I'm gonna kick the door open. Uh, so all five 
lock panels are open on the door. So there's a, a triangle, a hexagon, or I can read these in order. You know what, I'm just gonna do this so I can make my life easier. Um, so there are now openings on the door. Let me show you the door again. Nope. Uh, here is the door. So all of the, uh, whenever that loads up, the brass plaques are all Uh, removed you guys have uh, from the skeleton homunculi that you have killed earlier you have a triangle you have a square you have a hexagon and you have an octagon um, you do not have a pentagon damn it Oh wait, the pentagon didn't go off? I thought no. that was the food room. You there's an X over it. It's open, but so as you as you as you guys place skull heads or what's left of them with the metal hats basically uh, into these, uh, you have collected heads. From the first floor you collected a triangle, from the second floor you collected a square, from the fourth floor you collected a hexagon, from the fifth floor you collected an octagon, um, but you did not collect any skull from the third floor of the tomb. You mean the room that we couldn't figure yeah. out when we were like running around for two sessions? <laughs> yeah, does someone uh, in here no. have... Uh... some lockpicking abilities or something? Or like... Somehow. What a coincidence! Huh? <laughs> I mean, I sure shit don't. Well, I, I thought do. you did. Uh, yes, but again, remember those um, thieves' tools that got destroyed in that last room? Those oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I shit. Shit do I? Did I have any still? I can't remember. Uh, let's see. I. Because, yeah, I lost don't... everything. No. Yeah, no. I think I might have had some somewhere in the bag. I don't have them on my sheet anymore. I haven't used those in a very long fucking time. So examining the recess in that pentagon area, there are no mechanisms to pick. Or, I mean, not necessarily like a mechanism to pick, but something to place something in. Uh, it's a pentagon that we have left, right? To, to not waste time, the door is not lock pickable. Cool. So we got a backtrack. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, then we have to go back, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I guess we go back. Right. <laughs> There's nothing else we can do. Where where was the the myth skull that we didn't get? We don't know. I vaguely remember it being a, a really annoying puzzle. Oh, and we man. just were like, nah, we'll just skip it. <laughs> well, we couldn't figure it out after two sessions, so like, yeah. I mean, by two sessions, it was more like thirty minutes at the end of one session, and everybody said, "Fuck it." Um, let me. Okay, I've got everybody selected. Bam. Let's see if this can work. I'm just gonna... Aww. <laughs> NPCs that don't exist anymore. <laughs> um, so just... you sound very differently. Yeah, I was gonna say the same. Yeah, it's got that kind of modulation coming through. Oh, should I reconnect to uh, Discord? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, we had to find a bunch of keys or something like that to get into a door. And we only had like half of them after searching this place. And it was a giant um, pain in the dick hole. Yep. Hi. Can you hear me? Yep. So yeah, I can hear you. Weird. Still sounds like it, yeah. Still sounds weird. Um. How about now? It's because. Um, nope. It's because you haven't given us the answer. As soon as you give it to us, it'll be fine. Yeah. Let me try something. <laughs> How about now? Maybe better? better? I don't know. Is it better now or is it worse now? That's better now. Okay, cool. Uh, some interplay of voice mod and other bullshit, so I've just disconnected voice mod. Because uh, I don't think I'm going to need it. Or if I do, I'll just make my voice up. Um, so... Uh, Wavy transition. This is the third floor of the tomb. Um, features that are relevant to this floor of the tomb, mostly for Shijin's benefit, but for uh, everybody else. Um, this whole floor is covered in weird, and you can kind of see them where you're standing. All right, here's a question Did the map load in for people? I mean, yeah. There's like a square with a demon in the middle and there's purple stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this whole floor is covered in, uh, it's hot and humid and it's covered in weird growths that sprout eyeballs that look at you and then disappear back into the half mossy, half fungal growth. Um, the rest of the party, when you were here, you had collected a bunch of you had collected six crystal eyeballs um and just to let's see here um i don't know what you guys can see this map is probably newish or no can you guys see the unrevealed portions in fog of war uh for me there's like an area north but it's only a portion and there's an area south but again it's only like a small bit okay dodgy i'm just gonna whip you around through the whole map real quick because you guys revealed almost all of it so i'm just gonna do that to hopefully reveal it for everybody because i'm going to try to reveal the whole map and then mark off where you guys found eyeballs before um you also know that there are 10 uh, crystal eyeballs that you need on this floor to access a room that you couldn't get to before and i am so so they found six but we need ten total yes and i'm just kind of moving daiji through walls to completely unfog of war everything so don't mind the motion sickness daiji yeah. <laughs> Uh, you jumped over all those things. That's so cool. Yeah, mine is still giving me a black screen right now. But my connection's been you weird off to... You sometimes... Well, you have to, like, select outside your character. Did you do that? Yeah, I tried it, but there was nothing that I was hooking on to. So there's a fair chance, especially with the latency I've been getting, that it's just not loaded yet. Okay. Because when I, like, select it outside my character, then it works. Okay, I think I revealed almost all of the map. Now let me look real quick. 31B. There was an eyeball. Here. And an eyeball here. There was an eyeball here. There were... Oh, there were two eyeballs here. Uh, two in chest, 39. Where's the chest? What room is 39? I have to look at this. 39, the golem pit. Ha ha. I'm putting X's where eyeballs were found. Okay. 
So to give a really quick description of this floor, um, Ijin, can you see all the fog of war areas now? Kind of, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. I see the X's. Great. So, um, how am I going to do this? I'm going to use pings to describe this floor to remind people of rooms. Um, there's a room with two X's that's blue. That is the the water curtain room that had two illusory alcoves that had eyeballs in them. Uh, the trap corridor doesn't, or the rotating corridor over here doesn't really matter. Uh, there's the puzzle floor room up here with the funeral barge in it. There is a frog mask room over here. There's the evil a what mask? frog mask room. I'm kind of like giving like super quick okay. descriptions just because. No, 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 you're good. You're good. Um, there's the room with three curtains and a boar's head that has a fear effect over there. There is the uh, cylinder of death down here. Uh, there is the golem room where you guys sprayed water on the stone golem. Uh, there is the platform room with the statue and there is over here the door that has 10 circular indentations in it um, and I think you guys found eyeballs in the golem room the pit room and the water room and I'm not gonna rerun traps or encounters uh, unless they are incredibly relevant because that seems punitive and pointless. But you know you have six of ten eyeballs from this room. And in the rooms that you have been in were none of those weird skeleton things, uh, or homunculus things, that had a pentagon-shaped hat that would match a door. There we go. That was loaded for me. That only took about five minutes of my computer screaming. So yeah, you can probably deduce that wherever this creature is, it is behind either the locked door or in a place that you have not found on this map yet. Wasn't there... I'm trying to... Uh, I don't know, I can't remember where exactly we might not have gone entirely. I feel like to the left. It was like there, a trap like or two. Down. Right. I know I'm not checking the uh, the tumbling furnace. Er, wait, no, it's just the the furnace. The tumbling room was a different one. I don't. Think... to the left. There's like a up and down area. I don't think you were playing on this floor, Shijin. No. Yeah, this was a uh, this was a ways. But... No, 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 definitely not. I'm just saying those, the to the left and then up and down. I don't see anything. Oh, this spot right here. Yeah, those are just stone alcoves. Oh, okay. Uh, Dodgy is acrobatting checking. I want to delete that. <laughs> so fantastic. I leap, I leap 120, 24 feet. Because walking around the edge was too much effort. Yeah. Ignoring the jump. fact that Dodgy's already just floating. Yeah, but she can somehow also clip our jump without touching the ground. Show off. Alright. Uh, 
Oh, we've already been in that room. I guess we missed something. Did we get anything out of this room? You got some trinkets out of the boar's head, I think. But no eyes. It's like that fear room, right? Got a huge delay as well. Waiting for my roll to kick in. Well, you rolled a 24, I rolled a 23. I can't see it. It's <laughs> still waiting for it to show up. Wait, that was two minutes ago. That was not your new roll. Wait, yes, I was. No, he rolled. Dodgy rolled a 24, and Murakana rolled a 23. On perception? Yeah. Okay, see what oh, there it goes. <clears throat> so I've got a minute play. Ugh, 25 gross. So, so what are you trying to search? What are you? Anything out of place, looking for eyes, anything like that? Yeah. Hey, Gail, what's odd in here? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's bomb yeah, it all. We're gonna find it already. Uh, so the the boar's head room. I think you guys completely searched that. Uh, I think the frog mask room. Murakana, you don't notice anything you didn't check for before there. Dodgy, you're up. Cool. I don't know what my perception roll is. I just did it, so it'll take a minute to show up. It's a 28, and I think you guys can skip rolls. You can just tell me what room you want to look at, and I can tell you if there's anything interesting in there that you don't remember investigating before. Um, I don't think that room has anything that you guys didn't really look at before. I'm getting some serious latency issues right now, and I don't know why. It's been like everything tonight, not, not just Foundry. Uh, well, you and I are both on the East Coast, so I'm going to go ahead and blame East Coast infrastructure. There's like a, a blizzard, right? Yeah, but I'm in Florida. It's cold, but we're not exactly getting snow. Is there oh, in the fuck you. Chamber? You're in Florida. <laughs> um, oh, there... Did so we get anything out of the frog grass room? The frog grass room? Mask. The frog uh, ass room. Woo! <laughs> I mean, you got a Boy gras room. You got a magic item of some sort out of there that I don't remember which tomb it is, but that's uh, oh, which one is that? <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to remember which one is that. Oh, I don't have numbers on these. God damn it! Where's the tomb annihilation book? <clears throat> um, so Dodgy, there is a corpse in that room that you can see beyond the the jackal. So you're standing at the door that gives the weird playback of the dwarf walking into the room and then getting annihilated by uh, a pile of locust, or a cloud of locust. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did um, solve this room, though. Like, we ended up doing all the mouths shut and stuff. God damn it, we didn't solve the goblin room. Uh, the goblin room? The one over here with the pool where the goblin magically appears and you walk in. The shadow. That's the one. That fucker. Um, so, Dodgy, in Ijin's tomb, you guys traced the correct path on the floor, got to the sarcophagus and opened it. Uh, and took everything out of the sarcophagus. I think there's a corpse in there that nobody ever searched. Oh. I'll search the corpse. I can't move there. My tactics quality with this. Well, yeah, because that's a wall in front of you. You can't go through it. Um. No, but I could have teleport through it like I did last time. Um. I'll put you there. 
for reasons. Because oh. technically I'm supposed to reactivate this whole room, but I don't really feel like doing that. Um, yeah, so you can you can shadow step through there. Or teleport or however you do it. Yep. Uh, um, is there anything on the sculpts? Yeah, let me find it. So he has uh, a yellow turban set with a peridot gemstone that's worth uh, 500 gold. He has a non-magical shield and a belt pouch containing a 500 gold diamond. And a... That... Oh, oh. No, nah, that wouldn't be too useful right now. And he has oh, yeah. in his belt pouch two one-inch diameter oh. follow me to the shadow room uh, hold on sorry I'm trying to the, the camera moved so I'm trying to see what's going on here okay I'll come back to you in a sec Shijin because uh, oh, do you need a fin token um, well I'm just saying he's like uh in range, that is fine. There's your fin token. Um, you can put it where you want. Uh, just note that you can't get through this wall here. Um, the other two items in the belt pouch of that corpse are two crystal eyeballs. One dark blue and one vibrant purple. And that's for dodgy. All right. Well, I'm gonna grab a uh, triton, and I'm gonna go through. So you're gonna open that door. Okay. Well, stop moving for a second, so I can describe what's going on here. As soon as I figure out which number of room that is. Thirty-three, cool. Okay, so as you open it, um so the last time you guys were in here, it's the same thing. There's a, a stone font filled with steaming green liquid and uh or I guess Marcana and Dodgy, you see this. Uh beyond it there's a shadowy figure standing uh, at an open door on the far side of the room and its back is towards you. Uh, as you walk in the room, it takes a step forward into a closet beyond. Uh, Murakana, the shadow looks shockingly like you. So dad drop said sexy. Uh, I mean, that's one way to approach this. All right. Um, I'm going to turn around, walk out. Okay. And then I'm going to lean over and I'm going to dunk its head in the fount. Oh, whatever that thing is. Fountain. Uh, and I'm going to act like I'm drinking. Oh, wait. No, yeah, no, I remember this whole thing. Okay. Yeah, uh, it. you act like you're drinking as you're turned away from the shadow? Yes. It starts slurping at the soup. Wait, it's soup? Damn it, I wanted to drown it, but okay, that works. Uh, yeah. But. Yeah, it is, it is, as you're bent over, it is slowly drinking the liquid in that font. All right. Um, I guess I'm going to continue drinking until all the liquid's gone. Uh, so eventually it finishes drinking as you're miming drinking dodgy. You see there's an orange crystal in the bottom of the font. Oh, cool. I grab it. 
uh, you do so. Is it an eye? Or is it just a crystal? It is an orange crystal eyeball. Oh, thank there you. we go. Another eye. All right, how many we got left, you think? Uh, one, I think. Oh, God. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yep. One more eye. All right, someone put an X on that room. I what if it would let me draw? Or I don't, I don't do think much I, of anything. I don't think I have drawing enabled for players. Did we get anything out of the the back trap room? Uh, there was a corpse in there. I don't know. I don't think anybody interacted with it at all. The one that was spinning around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, like, threw the corpse in there after searching him, didn't we? To get it to move, so... Yeah, we searched the corpse. I don't think we found anything. I don't remember him having anything of particular value. Okay, well, yeah, that's if, right. if you did, then I screwed up, and I'll make a note on the sheet. Um, what he would have had when you searched him uh, was... A plus one Ikloa. So I guess a, a greater okay. a, a greater striking Ikloa. Um, let's just call it a greater striking longsword. Um, for ease of whatever. Uh, a Dungeoneer's pack. A pouch with eight gold. An ivory back scratcher shaped like a dinosaur claw. I think uh, I remember the pouch of eight gold, but I don't remember any of that other stuff. Uh... A holy symbol of Bahamut, or whatever the Bahamut equivalent is in Pathfinder, whatever, I don't care. I think it's still Bahamut. Yeah. And a red crystal eyeball. Oh, mother! So I guess well. if I didn't catch that one, I apologize. That's alright. Alright, so what do we do with these eyeballs? Take them over the door, I guess. Yeah. Just start plugging eyes into the door, probably. I don't know if you have to do it in a particular order. Where's this door at? I forget. I'm just going to move everybody. Good. <laughs> I can't do that. Hold on. Let me just get... Oh, who cares? Um... Wee. Uh, no, why did I move Keshma? Keshma doesn't give a shit. Sorry, I'm slowly trying to move people. Where did Finn go? There's Finn. You're next to me. He's tiny, and I'm zoomed all the way out. <laughs> Okay, so there's a hallway here, if y'all can see where you are. Mm -hmm. So the, there's a doorway with ten uh, holes in it, or ten indentations in it at the end of that hallway. So however you guys want to approach that, uh, probably party order may or may not matter, but I'd rather know what party order you're in. Those would have been refocusing while they were walking, I think. As long as it was a mostly dark hallway, it should count for a shadow dance along. Tank leads the way. I somewhat want to say Gale's behind Murakana, but knowing that that was exactly going to be the thing that happens, uh, I'll let someone else go immediately behind him. Oh, hey, I can move. Yeah. Yeah, I apologize. I had to step away. My printer was making weird noises. I heard some weird printer noises. Yep. Aren't they not supposed to make noises? Just, <laughs> yeah. Well. Just not certain noises. They make noise. Just, there's, there's bad noises.
Are you back anyway. or are you still dealing with printers? I don't know. I'm, I'm back for the moment. Let's just keep this rolling. Okay, well, there's your doorway. Believe in you. So who's following Murakana? I'll do it. I'll put Dodgy there. Who's after Dodgy? I'll go after Dodgy. Okay, and we'll have Shijin. Oh, sorry. Uh... Are you going to the end of the hallway or staying at the front of it, Gail? I'll go a bit more towards the end here, if it would let me. I'm, I'm dragged. There we go. Okay. I'm just establishing some sort of party order in case it matters. Uh, okay, so, Murakana, you're in front of the doorway that has... Uh, Basically, it's a large door with a round mirror set into its surface. There are ten circular indentations, each matching the size of the crystal eyeballs surrounding the mirror. This should place them in. And uh, I'm assuming, Murakana, you do that. You there, Marcano? Sorry, I'm back again. It made an uncomfortable noise and I had to fix something. But we're good. We're going to leave it alone now. Either it rides or it dies. So, carry on. Okay, you're standing in front of the doorway. Do you put the eyeballs in it? Fuck yeah. Okay. Sorry. Alcohol's getting to me. <laughs> this is what I get for making you get a real drink, isn't it? Um, <laughs> you, did, you did this. <laughs> Oh, my God. I feel like I'm swimming. Oh, great. Uh, so as you place all the eyeballs in it, the vault door, after you place the last eyeball, uh, grinds upwards, revealing a domed, candlelit room 50 feet high beyond. Uh, the polished marble floor is so perfectly reflective that it creates the illusion of standing at the entrance to a sphere. There are nine alcoves filled with glittering treasure opening up along the walls. Uh, in the middle of the chamber, a large spherical object hovers under a black silk drape 20 feet above the floor. There is also uh, one of those creepy homunculus creatures slippering, uh, slipping, uh, kind of trying to walk around the floor and slipping uncomfortably. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Walking. Hmm. Yep, nope. I've uh, I've read this book. This is a fucking trap. Well. Wait, could you even read before this dungeon? Only in Draconic, and Draconic books are really hard to come by. Oh. He can read now. His intelligence was like 50. <laughs> sure. Yeah, now he can, but that's what I said before this dungeon. There's no way. Alright, so uh, Daji, plan. Uh, plan. We grab the skeleton key and get the fuck out. Uh, we could do that. Yeah. Because... Uh, as you... Yeah. Well. As you walk in, uh, a voice resonates in your head, Murakana, and it says, Oh, a visitor. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Uh, yeah, I'm just visiting. How are you? Hmm, Belcourge is a bit bored, but you're an interesting distraction. What brings you here? Uh, I'm here for a key. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm here for that key that's walking around. It's weird, but, you know. Oh, yep, still that, walking. That's been a nuisance, but I have not been able to remove it from my lair. I suppose I could let you have it if you want to come get it. I would love to. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, you there? Did you? 
hear me? Yeah, I was just thinking. Oh, yeah. Now she walks into the room a little bit. Uh, both of you notice as you walk in, the floor here is incredibly slippery. Um, it basically... <laughs> It, it requires an acrobatics check if you try to do anything besides just walk slowly. Even me, if I'm not touching it? Oh, that's right. You float, don't you? Yep. Um, you don't notice the floor is slippery. <laughs> <laughs> you don't notice anything at all. Uh, oh, okay. But yeah, as, as you all start to come into this room, yeah, there's, there's alcoves full of uh, all sorts of crazy stuff. It looks like there's probably thousands of gold and various magical items Holy in shit. all of the uh what are one you... day i'll roll above a four what are you percepting oh apparently nothing uh, <laughs> i was looking Actually, for anything. a good idea yeah like oh, traps or anything i, I like was gonna no, i was gonna look for the source <laughs> of the voice but apparently i don't see shit either yeah, all. Uh, i so... swear i can roll above a four but i just haven't today so i haven't gone above a three so shush yeah yeah, I'll say none of you notice uh, any obvious source of the voice. The the homunculus skeleton key thing that is slippering around is is not talking. So can I grab the key and I just want to John Cena him, like grab him in a in a headlock and just like drop snap his neck, just bloop. Um. His Man. name is John Cena. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking of that. Da, da, da. Have any of you seen the opening credits to the Peacemaker show yet? Oh my god, yes. Yeah. It is amazing. so good. It's so good. It's a so damn good. thing, yeah. He's yeah. good. Oh my god. Me and my wife are required to watch the entire opening when we watch that show. It's oh, just it's, so good. Right now it's the only show I don't skip the opening on because it's just like, this is my happy moment. Oh, um... Uh, because the floor is so slippery, I want you to give me an acrobatics check to see if you manage to grab it and lift it up without falling on your ass. I don't know. I, I lock it under the head, and you slide forward slightly, and you come down, and it's... Yeah, I, I get it. You need to make a check, because there is literally no Damn. good way to, like, you can't plant Acrobatics. Your Where are my acrobatic skills? Uh, it should be on the proficiencies tab, which is the hand. John Cena! There you go. Uh, I'm just going to say, because I don't feel like running combat with a one of these. Yeah, you snap its neck. You have it. And the voice in Gale Dodgy and Murakana's head, there's just this deep chuckle uh, as the voice says, Well... That's a less than straightforward way of dealing with that particular problem. Ah, uh, I've been into the alcohol today, so I'm having a little fun with this. So you are now holding the corpse of the homunculus. I toss it to Gale. Here you oh, go, it. buddy. Don't don't put a bomb on it. <laughs> Why do you throw these things to me? Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> because just, right now I have I'm like eight. Sure, strength. we can still catch it. I'm uh, what's our dex here? Uh, yeah, dex of nineteen. So we can catch it, but like a little warning would be nice. I'm just gonna say you catch it, but the floor is so slippery that you and this corpse just both kind of slide back into the squishy growth all along the edges of this room. Ugh. Oh, man. I float over and grab the key. Uh, well, here, the, here's... the key is the head. Well, the head, as such. <laughs> Which is still attached to the body. Rip, <laughs> rip it off! Rip it off! Oh, is it? Oh, like... Try to, I chop it off with my sword. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna give Dachi head. <laughs> oh my god. god. Uh, Alrighty. <laughs> they kind of elicited a duel. Oh my god. Um, okay, this you is have the head. For us. Sweet. So, uh, do you want me to remove the, the blanket from you? 
whatever this thing is, is a sheet or is that keeping you warm uh yeah. certainly you could pull the sheet down you're not gonna like shoot me in the face with a laser or something are you uh Belcourge does not know what lasers are I heard a wizard use that term once. I still don't understand it. Anyways, I'll take the sheet off him. Okay. Um. Don't you dare say roll comp, roll initiative. I swear to God. <laughs> but he won't say it. <laughs> Just didn't do it. Uh, okay, so, um, who's wearing metal armor? Ah, shit. Oh, wait, no, I stashed my armor, didn't I? Yeah, I put it all in my I'm bag. I'm in fur, oh, so, hell yeah. Oh, are yeah, you? Oh, are oh you... wait, I was wearing that armor that was on the ground, because your fucking trap strip does you naked. Uh, I got leather. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she had metal armor again, goddammit. But it's in the bag? No, no, you remember that she wore armor to, like, cover up modesty as such. Oh, that's right. You picked up. Uh, yes, yeah, so picked up some <laughs> titty oh, pop round two. Oh, Let's go. Okay, Americano, what armor do you have? Uh, I have fur. Actually, I have no idea what I'm wearing. I'm wearing. Yeah, should be wearing just clothes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm Where trying to look, my armor? look at your inventory. And are you actually not wearing armor? Oh my god, I'm not. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, that's amazing. Really? You should be wearing armor, but yeah. Uh, it says oh, I'm wearing resistance. you have half plate. Yeah, you should absolutely be wearing armor. Yeah, you're Deathless wearing half, half plate. plate. Yep, you're wearing half plate. Okay, so I guess uh, Dodgy and Murakana. Uh, Gail, I'll come to you in a second. Um, so as you pull the sheet down, um, there's a... Oh, hey, I have a token. All right. Let's see if I can do this right. Nope, that's the wrong token. God damn it. Oh, no, it's not. Ba pew You pull the sheet down. There is a 10-foot smooth iron, uh, iron steel sphere in the middle of the room. Both of you feel your armor and your metal weapons tug you and uh, literally stick you to it. Um, oh, shit. You both have oh, the God. restrained condition right now. Um, which I actually should probably check what is that a thing in yeah restrained oh, not... alright I'm going to use hold on I'm not done describing what has happened yet okay sir uh, Gail let me look at you real quick inventory uh, um Leather armor, short sword, shock crossbow. Um, I think your crossbow would probably get ripped out of your hand because there's metal in a crossbow, isn't there? Yeah, but the crossbow is going to be like not in our hands, more just sort of a thing that we have handy. Uh, well, if it's in a back holster or on a hip thing, it gets ripped out and sucked to the sphere. Basically, if you well. have... A so that's also tacked on the sphere right now. Um, I'm just trying Probably to... Probably the arrowheads would be metal, apparently. For a crossbow. Well, I feel like crossbows it's... have metal crap in them. They're not just wood, usually. I don't know. Somebody... Wait, wait, what part of a crossbow is metal besides the arrowheads? The trigger, the cross member that gets pulled back. Right? Or am I just insane? I'm pretty sure that crossbows are like half metal. Depending on how they're made, you can make them completely out of wood. Let me look up a picture. Uh, I guess I'm looking up a picture of a crossbow right now. Just because. Usually the, what... Arm, what's the name of the arm? The arm of the crossbow, yeah, the, funnily enough. The yeah. arms are metal. usually made Mostly. out of metal. Right, like the trigger and oh. the arms are made out of metal, 
usually, even in medieval crossbows, right? And yeah. Think, yeah. And I've seen some where yeah, the, the track is sometimes metal as well, just to make yeah. it for a smooth side. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's an arm and a track that runs along it. Yeah. Look, for mechanical yeah, purposes, the way this room is supposed to work is most weapons and armor are supposed to get sucked into the sphere. So that's what happens. Um, My, um, I don't know what you are. You're pretty, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, the voice, and I guess, Shijin, where are you at this point? I'm hiding. Uh, Finn is Oh, you're looking through Finn. Was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the skeleton key head is now stuck to the sphere. Uh, Damn it! Because that's made out of solid metal. Um, okay, so uh, having established all of that, uh, to respond to your comment, uh, Belkorj is not a metal sphere. Oh, well, um, what was this thing? Is it a toy? I'm pretty. Belkoj is pretty sure that's a magnet. That's a weird magnet. Um, okay, I'm gonna do a strength check to put the the get the sheet between me and the magnet. Um. So I think the challenge right now is the sphere is um, okay. So here we go. Magical sphere of iron, oh, it's six feet in diameter, and it floats 20 feet above the floor. So the sheet's on the floor, and the two of you are stuck to it. Um, Fantastic. Along uh, with Dash, the... I need you to use your magic hand. What? Magic hand. Grab the sheet. Uh, is it even strong enough to do that? Shit, I don't know. I'll give it a shot. Magic hand? Mage hand. Mage hand can only big. lift 10 pounds or something. Yeah, it's like bulk one. Not 10 it's pounds. really weak. Yeah. A sheet that covers a. Have you ever lifted a bed sheet before? Yeah, it's ten pounds. Keep in mind, bulk one, um, which well, is basically my med kit. <laughs> like, yeah, that's. I mean, you Finn! can like lift. You can lift something sideways, but you couldn't like lift yeah. it. Wouldn't. Like Bad chance there's really like a difference, right? Like yeah. like you can't like lift something, but you well, can lift, pull lift a it. Corner and bring it up to me. Uh, no is the answer. You guys are basically stuck on that sphere right now. Uh, Mage Hand is a good attempt. It tries to move the, sh the, the... So this curtain is also about... I guess if we had to really do the math on it because the curtain drapes from the sphere to the floor and covers the whole thing. About 60 feet. It's like a 60-foot diameter sheet. So I'm pretty sure it weighs yeah, okay. more than bulk. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a big fucking thing. Yeah. Finn! Yeah. <laughs> what do you want Finn to do? I have I an idea. How powerful he is. Oh, wait, so the, what are we trying to do? The sheet? What do we want to do with it? I just need to get a corner to my hand so I can get it between me and this thing. And how would a metal sheet help you against the magnet? The magnet will just work through it. It's a magic know. magnet, apparently. Because huh. I can grab hold of it, and according to shadow jump by anything that I'm holding also gets teleported. Well, that yeah, that's all I need. I just need it in my hand. Um, though, Grim, would that count? Like, I don't know. Like, can I effectively hold a metal sheet? It's a, oh. it's, it's a cloth sheet. Oh, it's a cloth sheet. So basically... Um, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, so yeah. There's, there was a cloth sheet hanging over this orb. Murakana pulled it down, and the magnetic effect then took place and sucked everything metal uh well let's say everything iron and steel and wh whatever because i guess there's yeah. tons of treasure in this room but the treasure is still in the alcoves um you guys got oh. sucked in once the sheet was pulled off you're hovering like stuck to the side of this thing some 20 feet above the floor um does that description make sense so i'm just trying to make yep. sure the description of what has happened makes sense right here sorry I will look at yeah. the sheet and then go and shadow jump to it and try to keep the sheet between me and the uh, orb. Um. Because so I can take items with me as long as I'm holding on to them. Yeah. Let me just see. What are you trying to do, though? 
So I think here's what happens. Um, so you shadow jump and you shadow jump to the sheet and grab it. Yeah, and like put it between myself and the orb. So I'll say what happens is you shadow jump to it, grab it, and it literally like the shitty armor you're wearing starts immediately pulling you back to the orb. Um, <laughs> give me a... Uh, Man, if it's like a fucking restraint thing, then I just auto-fail it because of my curse. Uh, you get to substitute athletics for acrobatics, right? Yes. Is that in specific situations or always? I'm pretty sure... Hang on. I'll link it because I'm not 100%. I'm pretty sure it's just for jumping and stuff. I just want to make sure... Because I feel like this is... Yeah, there it is. It's only for when I'm jumping. Okay, so what I want is an athletics check to see if you can... Uh just like spin yourself in the right direction to get the sheet between you as the orb sucks you back in. Maybe. Ah, uh, what floor is this? This is the third floor. Oh, sure. Um, I'm going to say it's awkward. Like half yeah. of your armor gets sucked in, but you're able to block the other half. So after... Uh, like rearranging it underneath. after like <laughs> shimmying and shoving the sheet between you and the orb um, you fall to the ground and land floating um, below the orb with the sheet kind of between you and the orb so you are free as long as you keep the sheet between yourself and that orb alright I try to then cover the rest of the orb with the sheet as well best I can. I try to get it between um, Rokana and the orb and so on. <sighs> oh, long way down for me. Yeah, I'm trying to resolve the the 20 foot uh, height difference here. Um, I mean, she can jump up over it. Yeah, she, like... would, she would actually be able to do that. I'm not going to make you roll it because the odds of you not doing it. Yeah, you managed to uh, narratively um... <laughs> You use your amazing jumping abilities to kind of get on... <laughs> like, you kind of just splat on top of the orb with the cloth between you and start shimmying it down to Murakana. Uh, just for shits and giggles. Cool. I can jump three times that. You can I work my way over to the key and grab it on the way out? Um, sure. And the whole time this is happening the three of you in the room just hear this telepathic voice just belly laughing uh, as it watches you guys do this. But eventually <laughs> you manage to do this dodgy, you kind of Murakana, you fall to the floor in a heap with the skull of this creature with the thing embedded in it and dodgy, you roll off and manage to, to land above the floor all while this voice is just chortling and snorting in your heads as it watches this happen. Hmm. Wait, do we not recognize the voice? Uh, I, I, re I remember now it's the voice of the creature that lives here. Yeah. So you are... I'm going to use recall knowledge. Well, I mean, you can't see it. So that's true. There's yeah. really not a lot to go off of there. Like it's that's true. Yeah. Right now, all you know, without knowing what you know from the other group because of chatter, um, <laughs> or I actually yeah. haven't met this one. I really thought it was a beholder. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it could be. It could also be a lich. I mean, the sphere is the sphere. Is the sphere. Yeah, I mean, it could be so but, many things. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it could be like, an engineer who made the sphere and yeah. then just fucking having a chuckle. It could be it a could botanist. Be the, the witches that we were down in their little room before. Like, personally, I'd be thinking more like, you know, those dudes who are, like, making shit on the floor, like, on the very first floor, where they were forging all this stuff. Maybe they could have had something to do with it. One of them was just, like, a botanist or something. Well, that was um, 
Ow. <laughs> what do you mean, Ow? You didn't take any damage. <laughs> I smacked my face against the sphere, and I'm a little upset, but... I also thought this now, was... No, no. Pride is a very real injury. Yeah. It is. <laughs> uh, the voice in your head says, This is the most entertaining event in this room Belcourge has seen for a long time. <laughs> You so, really don't get out much, do you, bud? I mean, he's stuck here, so... <laughs> of course he is. I really thought you were a beholder. No offense. I got excited. I've never met a beholder, but Mom always talked about them. Said they were interesting people. Don't fuck a beholder. I, I would never... I mean, unless he wants to. <laughs> hey, I'm I mean, with enough you alcohol, I'm, I'm, we'll I'm talk. Just, I'm, just, I'm just giving this man some friendly advice. How would you even do that? I don't Americana think you can. A hole is a hole. So, you're going to stick it in his mouth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he stutter? Taji, Taji leaves the room. I'm tempted to go see if Rule 34 even has that category right now. Uh, I'll do it for you. Uh, Who's uh, up uh, right uh, now? Uh, Let's do this. Grim, uh, Grim, uh, Grim, how innocent are you? Oh, that's, that's the most adorable thing I have heard anyone say all week. Is Does Rule 34 uh, even have Beholder porn? Well, we're going to find out now. <laughs> it absolutely yep, it exists. does. Oh, it it exists. absolutely does. Do not Google Rule 34 he's like, he's Beholder. Like, yeah, He's like, trust me, it does. Oh my. <laughs> Although none of this is the scenario that... Oh, nope, there it is. Okay. <laughs> but, Amazing. <laughs> but that beholder has arms and legs. That's Okay, not... Google, show me E621 beholder. I mean, most of this... Wow, there's... Okay, this is fascinating. <laughs> Nobody did, uh, did anyone uh, wow. did, oh my. did anyone catch that? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you there's Kratos plus Beholder. Um that's I am just oh nope, there it is. There's Did a, you Google this? Oh hell did yeah. Did you I Google did. it? <laughs> okay, so my search histories tonight include medieval crossbow, God in Spanish, and the Rule 34 <laughs> Beholder. <laughs> Congratulations! How many lists? I mean, it's I'm on all. It's the still lists. better than mine. Oh my gosh! Uh, okay, so Dodgy has left the room. <laughs> so not, I am from time. hell, and you people still disgust me. <laughs> we love you, Dodgy. Sorry. <laughs> and in this episode of uh... sorry, in this episode. Grim learns that uh, teratophilia is a thing. Yeah, apparently. Grim learns that Rule 34 is actually real. No, Welcome I... to the wide world of monster fuckers. <laughs> the crazier you make it, the more disturbing it is, the hotter people get for it. <laughs> I, I am heartened that there are True. only only three pages on the Beholder tag on Rule 34, so that's hilarious. Oh, believe me, there's going to be a lot more than that. You just don't know where to look. Well, fair enough. I, my depth of knowledge of searching for weird stuff is basically that site, and that's it. So there you go. Um, yeah. What you really want to do is turn off safe search on Bing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Bing is, yeah, search, take it, take Bing it is the search yeah, engine take, made for porn. Take it easy, killer. Like, take it easy. Yeah. The deep I was about to say, Bing casts a net that is wide and deep. I, I have to say also, I finally figured out how to like put custom strings on my Google, Google searches. Uh, so now Pinterest is also removed from results on my Google searches. So I'm probably Thank limited. God. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's like a extension so that if they do have Pinterest, you can like still view the image. Yeah, I'm wary Not of that. extensions. That would be something. You know that I would want to do the same. I find it amazing that that we had to go off on the tangent of googling Beholder Rule Thirty Four. When, you, <laughs> if memory serves, you still follow me on Twitter, right? Well, yeah, but I only engage like the number of Wait, times. Share your Twitter. What are you doing? 
What where to look at? Uh, yes, I follow you on Twitter, but I don't look at Twitter that often. So the times that I respond to you are pretty much like just do a probability roll of Grim plus Sib posted on Twitter and find the intersection of those, and that's how often I see your your posts. <laughs> yep. Um, okay. So, um, Gail Maracana, are you doing anything in here? Besides nope. leaving? Um, <laughs> well, it's been fun. Um, thought we were going to get to meet you, but uh, we got to go open a door. I would, I would just like to reiterate that I so wish that Sarath was still in this campaign for this room in particular, but that's fine. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so you have the... I knew it, Sarath's a robot. Well, no, like, you think Sarath would see nine alcoves full of jewels and not try to steal them all? Um, True. Uh, I was about to say, this is a trap room and I'm not touching shit. Yeah, everybody has ignored everything. So you have the the head uh, with the Pentagon metal crown melted into it. Uh, do you guys want to do anything else here, or are you beelining for the door? I'm going to ask, are you a beholder? Uh, the The voice just chuckles deeply at you and says, what do you think I am? Our Americana just kind of looks puzzled and goes, at this point, I have no goddamn clue. You have thoroughly, thoroughly kept your mystery. Well, a lady must keep its secrets, so uh, there you go. Oh, uh, wait, 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 lady? What? Oh. It's right. a figure of speech, okay? <laughs> You're just like, shut up, let's go. Uh, see the prior search terms that you can import into your input into your search engine of choice and make your own discoveries. Uh, <laughs> would beholders have cloacas? They've, uh, they've got something. Probably. I mean, it depends what universe that we're in right now. I mean, How beholders I thought were magical beings. Let's let's there. Yeah, I mean they can be, but like depends how the DM wants their world to be. Like, do they want their beholders to have cloacas? I mean, I love how knows? I love how when I search. <laughs> Did you search oh God, beholders oh God. Did you really? <laughs> I googled how did beholders poop, and the first hit is Reddit. How does a beholder poop? D and D news. <laughs> oh, we gotta open this one. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> the same way it does everything else by shooting a ray. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Wait a minute. Wait, there's actually a source book called Lords of Madness for three point five that. Um, oh man, this is quite the, this is a great thread. Okay, fair enough. Uh, results are inconclusive. There's a Twitter post for this too? Oh my god, I'm just going down a, I'm going down a rabbit hole here. N-World has a thread on how do beholders digest their poop? Uh, or digest, oh man, this is just... An extra-dimensional pocket plane that their food was transported to once devoured, where it would be digested and used as a nutrient reservoir. Huh. Oh, here's a good one. Seriously, they stick the eye stalk with a disintegrate beam into their mouths and vaporize whatever they swallowed. That's why, but little beholders are told, never vaporize with your mouth full. <laughs> uh, well, why do they have teeth if they disintegrate their food before they eat it? Oh, man. Okay. Okay, never mind. I'm done with that. That's been a wonderful digression for me. Uh, <laughs> is anybody else doing anything else here? Oh, my God. 
We all good? Have we have we exhausted weird search terms for Grimish to put in a beholders? Wait, he got the key, right? We yeah, Americana's got the key. Yeah, to the to the lab. To the lab. Cool. So I think this is going to be as good a place as any. Uh, so you get. Uh, well, hopefully the screen loaded. I don't know if that worked, but I loaded the other map. Yep. I run up and I just like soccer punt that fucker into the key hole. Just bam! Uh, so as you do so, you hear from around you uh, three different voices uh, begin cackling uh quite maniacally and that is a good place to end the session for tonight because it's about 12 11 on my end so we Fair will enough. pick up there and thank you everyone for playing And everybody is thoroughly disgusted with the amount of beholder searching we've done. <laughs> I'm I'm still thinking about the cloaca. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you can all go the to bed. Cloaca. Oh, I got my thumb right in the cloaca. Oh um, God! If you ever get attacked by one, just stuff your thumb right up his cloaca. Let's go immediately. I. Uh, wasn't aware that Steve Irwin had a Scottish sibling who fucking worked with beholders, but okay. <laughs> oh, hi, I put my thumb in his crack. Oh, I can't even do it right now. Fuck it. I'm done. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have a lot of interesting editing choices when <laughs> oh, it comes to this Oh, she's a beauty. <laughs> Raw footage. Don't be a coward. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lyokin is just disgusted at this point. Um, I know my sins to you. We, we were wondering about beholders, and then we were like, hmm. Do they have a cloaca? Okay. 